Hello my friends, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension and today's video is part of our um, room cleaning uh, series and uh, this technique today is uh, called uh, by me uh, painting the walls with love and so you know there are many ways of clearing a room you know smudging is probably very well known and there are conch shell and gongs and singing bowls mm -hmm. and bells uh, uh, to name a few <laughs> and um, so this is a, you know a very particular um, you know way of uh, adding good energy uh, and removing bad energy from a room and I would say you know this uh, ranks very very high you know in my understanding of what a good feng shui is you know, uh, doesn't matter how it's arranged, you know, you're gonna, you know, just optimize things, you know, according to circumstances. Of course, feng shui principles, you know, are always good too. You know, I can't do enough of this. So, um, you know, um, first of all, you know, um, through this kind of ascension symptoms that we have, when you become more sensitive and you get affected, um, by lower vibrations, you know, or uh, you might be aware, you know, how there are bad vibrations coming, you know, over from your neighbors that are fighting all the time, you know, if you're living in an apartment building, <laughs> you know, or if you move into a, you know, a new apartment uh, that had been occupied before, you know, you may suddenly feel very sad, um, you know, because that person that lived there before was sad. You know, and then of course there is that whole issue of ghosts and properties, but you know, for that you might want to watch uh, my video on how to ascend ghosts to heaven. So anyhow, um, so first of all, right now I will show you how to measure the G levels in the walls. So first of all, you know, we want to warm our hands. Make sure our hands are not cold, so you can rub them. Uh, you know, massage your fingers and in between the fingers, uh, or even do a loose wrist. You know, things that will also you know release tension and uh, blocks and chi flow from your wrists. Uh, personally, you know, I wear you know copper uh, rings, you know, or uh, copper uh, tin as well as uh, brass. You know, wound. You know, they all enhance. Um, you know, the chi flow of your hands um, so that would help and <coughs> now just uh, close your eyes and uh, smile and uh, let's f ask that we be guided and protected you know by absolute supreme source and uh, you know representations like Archangel Michael you know the spirit guides uh, our own high self you know whatever this uh, for the best, you know, and that we are completely safe and protected in every way, you know, and completely lined up with the divine will. Amen, 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 amen. And that everything that happens in and from this practice is for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes also. Amen, 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 amen. All right, now we have invoked protection and uh, now we can uh, connect to heaven and earth in a safe way. So just imagine, you know, that you, uh, you know, sprout uh, roots, big roots from your spine and your legs into the earth and just fan those out into smaller and smaller uh, sub-roots. And then just, you know, draw Mother Earth's love with a big smile into yourself and then with a big smile and then a big exhale, you know, you send your love into Mother Earth. You know, and just, you know, it's good for you, it's good for Mother Earth, but most importantly, it clears, you know, this back and forth of love, you know, through, you know, your uh, chakras and imaginary pathways through your legs into the Earth, you know, will recharge you, you know, and connect you more, um, you know, with the chi of the Earth Mother. You know, this is how you uh, breathe, you know, bl wet blankets dry in Tibet. <laughs> you know, it takes a lot of <laughs> ground energy. 
<laughs> you know, uh, to uh, you know to, to to counteract the cold. Uh, so, yeah. So this is why we do so. Uh -huh. Nice. And uh, now, just uh, you know, on the inhale, so just keep drawing Mother Earth love into your heart. And on the exhale, you know, just um, breathe it into your heart area. You know, and we asked your angels and your high self, you know, to please clear as much, you know, pain and sorrow and blocks in your heart and cords that suck you dry and, you know, and, yeah, bad wishes, whatever is there that shouldn't be there, that's not good for you, to please clear this now as much as possible. Amen, amen. And smile like an idiot because that makes you just more transparent to love you know smiling means I'm open I'm friendly you know and it tunes you into the love vibration automatically yes mm -hmm. yes all right and now also start you know drawing love you know from the top of your head you know, into your head, into your heart. And then on the exhale, you send, you know, your love with your breath, you know, out the top of the heart, just like a veil, like a, get a big fountain, back and forth on top of the head. And you want to, you know, breathe with a speed, you can hear the air flowing through your nostrils, just like this. And you just follow along. This might be a little difficult for you in the beginning, you know, but just do what you can, work up to it, and some of you may get dizzy, you know, that's understandable, it's a lot of chi gets knocked loose, you know, that kind of was stuck, and it's like, um, you know, dusting a carpet, you know, <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff in the air, and just, you know, focus into your spine, and just draw these energies into your spine so they turn into kind of a lightsaber like from Star Wars like <laughs> but in your spine you know all the way through yeah okay so you know now we have kind of cleared you know access to you know the higher dimensional energies and access to the lower dimensional energies from the earth you know they're not uh, bad it's just a frequency, you know, different frequency have different <laughs> effects, you know, it's not that uh, the bass, you know, is uh, better or worse than the trebles or the mid-range tones, you know, there is no value, it's just they're all part of the whole, they need it. Mm -hmm. And so now just, uh, just try, you know, to draw the love from heaven and earth simultaneously into your heart, and just expand it in your heart. Just get used to that and smile like an idiot so, you know, this uh, will sweeten the chi. This will just sweeten the chi. This is the beauty from the smile. All right. And we ask for another cleansing of the heart. Amen, amen, amen. And just keep smiling and pumping that heaven and earth chi into the heart. And expand them. All right. And now, on the exhale, um, you know, you send it in, into your hands. And to just, let's say, hold them in front of you, you know, a little apart, and just have your fingers nicely relaxed. You know, the better relaxed, the more relaxed, the more chi you can actually run through them, you know. Um, so just let them loose. And so now from, on the inhale, take the love from heaven and earth into your heart. And on the exhale, send it from the heart through the arms, you know, and make like a little energy ball here in your mind. Uh -huh. Just keep pumping into this energy ball now.
Okay, just just let it float there. Maybe take your hands away from it. Mm -hmm. And then just take, you know, the right hand and just very slowly, you know, go into the area of your energy ball. And you might actually find there is some resistance. Mm -hmm. And then just try from the other side. And you also might find there is some resistance. Yes, because actually the chi stays there. Uh, at least for the time being. And now just let's absorb this into the heart. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> it feels good. Yeah, uh, that's my inner child. You know, he kind of gets a kick out of this. All right. So um, now, next, uh, just stretch. You know, your left arm. You know, forward, and then with your right hand, just relax. You know, just gradually, just approach. You know, your left arm, and see if you feel. You know like emanations or difference or pressure or warmth building up as you get closer to it. Mm -hmm. And then just go back, you know, about a foot or maybe two feet. Uh -huh. Then that which would be up to half a meter and then come close again and just see, you know, if you get similar sensation this time. Maybe move a little further. See it how it feels there. You know, go away. Mm -hmm. You know, and so on. If you feel any resistances there or any presence there, you know, you got it. That's kind of, you know, and just observe the quality of that. Mm -hmm. That's it. Well. Next, you can like you know take your hand again, and imagine there is like on the exhale, you know there's energy squirting out the fingertips, right? So it, you get kind of like a baseball glove, you know, like a big you know, <laughs> thing, like a plate, you know, of energy there, right? And now you know just imagine like with this plate of energy on the exhale, you know, you broom your hand, you broom your arm. Just breathe this love, you know, while you calm the surface and maybe through the arm. Just imagine it, you might actually feel the energy up and down your arm. And, you know, it might be fine in the beginning, but, you know, once you know what to look for, your sensitivity for it increases. All right, cool. Just keep that left arm in front. And now just gently, gently, you know, approach, you know, your arm again with that open glove and see, you know, whether you feel the resistances. So with me here, you know, yeah, I start <laughs> feeling it here. What well, used to be here, you know, now is here, right? But, you know, for you it just might be here or here. Just, you know, see the difference. and. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and um, you know, and observe also the quality. All right. Uh, so next, let's go to our imaginary wall. Uh, this is our wall here, and now uh, just gently, you know, with your hand, come very slow, and just with your arm, you know, feel, you know, how the aura or you know the emanation of the wall feels like, you know, you feel a resistance somewhere, you know, uh, how, where is kind of, where what you say is the surface of it, uh -huh. and then ultimately, you know, what is the quality, you know, of this, is it clam, is it warm, loving, you know, how does it feel, and most of the time, you know, it will have this kind of um, uh, clam feeling you know, like wet, cold cardboard, <laughs> which is not a very pleasant, uh, you know, feel to have around. All right. So n I already have shown you, you know, how to draw love from heaven and earth into your heart and then send it out, you know, into the hands into an energy ball. All right. Now, similarly, you know, I will be drawing love from heaven and earth, 
you know, into my heart and send it out my hands. You know, there are chakras here. You know, palm chakras, you know, you use it to bless people or, you know, bless like this. <laughs> you know, see energy, receive energy, you can also receive energy, you know, from the heavens and then pass it on. So, you know, this is all, um, you know, part of hand mudra technology. Uh, but, you know, just nicely relaxed hands are fine. And now, you know, I'm just swinging back a little bit and... Uh, Let's imagine where you are, you know, is the wall. And so I'm going to just take my arms up, I'm going to inhale, and then just squirt love chi, you know, at the wall. Right? And now again, inhale. And just follow along with me, right? And just, you know, uh, go and just paint the wall that you can see, you know, with this chi coming out. And you just imagine, you know, in your mind, as if this chi like, shoots out your hands and hits the wall and just scraps down the negative stuff, you know, sewers it into the earth. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you know, you, you're putting the love in there, you know, you're scrubbing it with the love, right? So, you smile like an idiot, you, you breathe like a bellow, and just... You know, you just go all around the room. And... Um, <coughs> Maybe you want to do it now before you finish your whole room, you know, uh, or maybe you haven't started yet. So at least, you know, I hope you did this one spot on our on your real wall. And now, you know, go and measure, you know, with your hand, you know, how far out the emanations go, you know, where you paint it. You know, just, you know, look for the resistance and uh, also, you know, look for the quality of it. You know, many people feel it's warm instead of clam. And, you know, it's a warm, you know, smiley, you know, feeling, you know, radi radiating, you know, from your wall. And just compare this, you know, with the part of the wall that you haven't checked before, you know. So just go side by side. You know, you don't have to believe, you know, anything what I say you know, uh, but you should believe into your sense perception, you know, even the subtle ones, you know, just repeat it a couple of times, and if you can feel it, you know, you feel it, you know. So, um, that's uh, pretty much it, you know, with uh, painting, you know, the walls with love, except, so you want to, like, go all around, you know, uh, the, the room, all the you know, especially, um, let's say, where you spend a lot of time. You know, I, I would suggest, you know, you, the first room you do is your uh, bedroom, you know, or the area where you sleep, you know, because you really absorb, um, you know, the you know, chi, you know, from the walls there, you know, because you kind of let go when you sleep, you kind of vulnerable there. Uh, you know, and then of course, you know, uh, also, you know, sweep the whole bed, you know, with your love, you know, just infuse it, you know, with your love. It's like painting your bed with love, you know, you could also say raking your bed with love. The only difference to Reiki is in Reiki, you know, you just ask that you be given what is needed and let it fro flow through you. You know, with my technique, it's like, you know, I draw in you know, what I would like to transmit into this dimension from the higher dimensions, you know, from, from source, right? Uh, and where there is unlimited of this uh, chi available, you know, and, and bring it into this dimension, into my environment. And of course, this trickles down, you know, it's a good thing. So also you want to make sure that, um, you know, your kitchen where you cook, you know, that is, has a nice clean energy, 
you know sometimes you know they uh, maybe in uh, previous times they were frustrated housewives <laughs> you know so, uh, being angry when they were doing the dishes or you know cooking and um, it's quite important uh, you know and then of course also where the children are you know just they fill it all nicely with love and you will feel like a uh, cozy you know um, it, it gives you a cozy warm feeling like a womb like a warm feeling, you know, a smiley feeling, and it is one of the best things you can do. You know, of course, uh, when you do feng shui, you know, it jacks up the bagua, and if, you know, it's a certain corner uh, that you want to, um, you know, energize, like your marriage or your uh, wealth or your career, you know, you just uh, paint a lot of love in, into this. You know, and of course, you can put lights and candles too. All right, um, that's about it. Um, I think I will do another video, and just uh, this is about kind of sweeping, how to use the sweeping technique in womb clearing. Uh, this will be the next video, and just ask your high self or your guidance whether um, this will be good information for you. You know, a yes, I would take as an upflow of energy, and to no, you know, take it as a low flow of energy. And I love you. I hope uh, this will uh, help you here. Uh, you know, these things are quite important, and they improve your quality of life tremendously. Wherever you go, you don't need much paraphernalia for this. <laughs> you know, just bringing in the love and pushing it into your environment, you know, will charge you up. It's a wonderful meditation. It's like, you know, a cook never goes hungry. You know, so, uh, you know, the more love you project, of course, the more love you experience and comes back to you. You know, this should be understood. So, you know, keep smiling like an idiot, you know, stay connected to heaven and earth, you know, breathe like a bellow, stay in your heart, you know, and bless yourself and your environment. Watch the other videos, you know, there is lots of information, you know, and if you just find some few other nuggets, you know, that's good. And I do private sessions, so, um, you know, <laughs> do soon before the prices go up. I love you. Namaste.